friends, I'm Jennifer Scott and welcome to my channel, J. Scott Beauty. This week we're going to do fall face week. That's right. For me, I don't really get into fall until around Thanksgiving. I know it starts, well, kind of in September where I live. I don't know. I'm not a Halloween person. It's never been my holiday. Thanksgiving is my holiday. I love Thanksgiving. And for me, that's when I feel my most fallish. So this week I'm going to give you three different fall faces. So if you like this look and want to see how I did it, keep watching. All right then, let's get started. So today I wanted to use, you know, some really fall colors. So oranges is what always makes me think of fall. And I'm going to go back and use like my tried and true palettes, my favorite things, because we're not here to test out. We're here to use things that I love and I know work. And of course for me, that is the Tati Volume 1 palette. I love this palette so much. And if you look at it, you're like, well, you haven't used it that much. I've used it a ton. The tiniest bit goes a long way in this palette. It's lasted me, I think I've had it for a year now. Unfortunately, Tati hasn't come out with anything else. And if you're a lover and follower of Tati's, you know kind of that there's a lot of drama going on and we're the ones suffering because we're not getting any more of her products. But anyway, I'm going to use this because like these oranges and browns speak fall to me today like nothing else. Now I do have on my base bronzer and brows, so that leaves eyes and cheeks. So I wanted maybe a slightly, I don't know, I wanna say more neutral cheek since I'll be doing an orange eye. So I'm going back to this old Tarte palette of mine. I love this cheek palette because it has so many different options. And over here are definitely some neutrals. I do have like a pretty corally orange over here, which I might use for just a little bit of color, but we'll see what sort of mood I'm in. I of course forgot to prime my eyes, so let's get that done real quick. Now we all know that primer makes the powders stick better and last longer on the lid, but also it intensifies the color. So especially when I'm using oranges, yeah, you betcha I'm gonna prime. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Aura in the matte shade, just under the brow bone and the upper lid. Now, like I said, you don't need a lot of this. I just put way too much on this brush. It's a habit. Incoming mirror. Okay, then let's just hit this brow bone and upper lid just to put down a nice little base. And of course, I'm using my favorite Scott Barnes. I think this is his number 62 brush. Yes, it is. I love this for so many things. It's so soft. It's so fluffy. I love this brush. Next up, I'm going to go in with Soothe in the matte. And I'm going to do that in the crease. And I'm going to just diffuse it out. So straight into the crease, back and forth. And we'll just blend so it starts to blow out and diffuse itself. And as you can see, it does it almost immediately. That's how great these shadows are. I mean, between these shadows and this brush, I don't have to do much work on my own. So I went back and forth in windshield wiper motions and in circular motions to really blow out that color. One eye done. And honestly, if you wanted a neutral look, there it is, lashes and done. But I don't know, you know me, I'm not really feeling neutral look right now. I mean, I said orange, we're going orange. Okay, so we're gonna go into the shade Story in the matte, and I'm gonna go in the crease again, but I'm gonna go a little lower. I'm not gonna blow it out so much to my upper lid. So I'm just taking a little bit here, tapping off any excess, and going right into the lid, crease, sorry, right into the crease, back and forth, because this is where I want my orange to start. Now this brush blends it in beautifully to Story, which we already laid down.
and there's no harsh line between blending the two. That's exactly what we want out of a quality shadow and a good brush. Okay, now I could take this in two different directions. I could go back into the uh, story matte and do it on my outer corner, or I could go into this chocolate brown here. What is it called? Ritual. I could go into Ritual and do that on the outer corner. And well, for the sake of drama, I'm gonna do that. However, it would not be uncommon for me to use Story and let that be for my everyday shade. But for the sake of you guys, we're gonna go for it. Okay, I like to use in the outer corner this nice stubby Charlotte Tilbury brush. It allows me to pick up just the right amount of powder and place it exactly where I want without it fluffing around. First I wanna put it down and then I wanna blend it out. So let's do that. So I'm going on the outer third, just placing it down, almost in like a triangle shape. And it's better to go in with a little and add as you go. It's way easier to add a product than it is to take it away. Taking away is, whew, that's a lot of blending. And sometimes that doesn't even work. So give yourself a, a little time to get it just right. Okay, I've got that stamped down where I want it. Now I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna use this fluffier Morphe blending brush and just blend. I'm gonna blend it up and out. So a little bit up into the crease and just a little bit towards the center of my eye. Now, as you can see, it immediately blended out. And I'm going to leave that slightly rough edge because I'm gonna go over it with another shadow, so it's fine. Same thing for this eye. I'm gonna do about the outer third of my eye, stamping the color down where I want it. And now you can see the difference between the blend and the unblended. And now I'm gonna blend. Now I'm gonna go back into story, take a little bit, and I'm gonna blend in between the darker shade that I just laid down and the original orange shade because I want them to be blended nicely together. I'm gonna show you a little trick here because I want my eye to have like a lift to it. I don't want it to look droopy. So I'm going to take a tissue. You can use anything with a straight edge. I've seen people just like lay down a compact and use that. You can use anything with a straight edge. But you can just take your tissue, put it on the angle that you want, and just blend on the tissue and on the area you want. And you're gonna get, let's get the hair out of the way for you. You're gonna get that uplifted look. Now, because I've had some like runny eyes today, I have a little discoloration in the corner. That's okay, we'll get to that. And again, on this side, And then so there's not a harsh line, you can just blend that in. And here again, you could just stop at this, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go back into story and I'm gonna go to the metallic row. Listen, if I'm going orange, I'm gonna sparkle and shine. Now for this, I'm gonna use my finger. Any of these very shiny metallic shadows often work best with your finger. You can dampen like a flat brush like this and pick up the product and lay it down. That works too, but today I'm just going in with my finger. So now I'm gonna go in the middle of my eye and kind of overlapping the darker chocolate. So that's why we didn't have to worry so much about blending that. And I'm gonna go up, because I have a hooded eye, I'm gonna go up a little higher 
because I still, when my eyes open, I want to be able to see this shine. I love that color. Of course, I went a little crazy, so I'm gonna have to go back in with my chocolate. Who cares, no big deal. And define the outer third again. No big deal. There we go, just a light blend. Same for the other eye center of the eye and I'm bringing it up a little bit onto my upper lid and I know some of you might be afraid of putting a shimmer on your upper lid it's okay it's just makeup we're not tattooing our eyes this isn't forever this is fun and temporary I just love that bit of sparkle and shine in the center. Now, because I love the sparkle and shine, I'm gonna go in with the shade Aura in the metallic, and I'm gonna do that on the inner third. I'm using a flat brush. I'm not gonna use my finger, just because like for our, like my eye shape, it's just a little harder to get in there with my finger, so a flat brush works just fine. However, I'm not going to like rub it around, I'm just going to pat it. That's how we're gonna get the most impact and we're gonna let the shine stay without it diffusing. So we're just gonna pat. Why do I say we're? I mean, it's just me here. There's no team. I'm just gonna pat it on and brighten up the inner portion of my eye. Ooh, she's getting bright. And I'm gonna go back into Soothe just because I don't want this entirely bright and shiny on the upper inner corner. I do still want some of this pretty camel color. And now for the inner third of this eye, brighten that up. And again, I'm going back in with the tiniest amount of Soothe just to blend. There we go. And now I'm gonna go back into Soothe and I'm gonna use that under my eyes to kind of bring the whole look together. And a little bit at a time, don't go in with a whole lot of color. It's easier to blend a little bit than it is a lot. And you can just keep adding. Make those shades meet because it's up here and now it's down here. So we can just bring it around to make them meet. And the same for this side. Knocking all sorts of stuff over. What else is new? And then just for the fun of it, I'm gonna go around and just give one more blend just to make sure everything is cohesive and there's no stop and start lines. There, I think we're good. Well, maybe just one more thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take my tiny flat brush. I usually use this for like inner corner or under the eyebrow for highlighting. I'm actually gonna go back into Aura in the metallic. I would love to go in the sequin but it's not a sequin kind of day for me. But I do love these so much. I mean, let me show you just for fun. Oh my God, oh, I just moved it around too much. Look at that. Oh God, I love that. Don't worry, you'll see that in a holiday look. So I'm going into the metallic here, picking up some, and I'm going to go right in the center of my eye, in the middle of where I have the metallic of the orange shade, just a little bit. Now, can you see how that just brings a little light and brightness right to the center? Yeah, that makes all the difference for me. So just a little bit right in the center. I'm gonna pat that in. There we go. Oh, it's coming. 
coming together. We're getting there. Now, because I already used Aura in the beginning when I did under the brow and on my upper lid, I don't need to go in and highlight again. And because I have enough like sparkle and shine on my lower lid, I'm not even going to use, you know, like a highlight there. We're just going to leave it as is. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to curl a mascara and I'll be right back. And voila, lash is done. So for me, even though I love a big exaggerated lash, I feel like the lash kind of takes down the eye look a little bit. So even though you were probably like, why are you putting on so many colors? What the hell's going on here? When I put on my mascara, it's almost like the lashes kind of make a veil in front of my eye color. And it gives like a softer look. So it's not as like crazy eye makeup looking. At least that's what I think. So for me, I would wear this as an everyday look. Now, some of you are like, girl, you're crazy. I am not spending that kind of time on an everyday look. I get that. But for me, this would be an everyday look. The rest of you, it might just be an evening look. Do it. Whatever you're feeling, do it. It's just makeup. We're here to have fun with it. Okay, so like I said, I want to go in with this palette that has many, many colors. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here. Let's see how we like. So these are Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blushes. This one is in the shade Nod. So I don't know, you might still be able to get this because they still carry the Amazonian Clays. These are just a palette of several of the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my upper cheekbone. Adding just a bit of color. I know I like to go crazy with color because of the finishing powder that I'll put on afterwards. But because of the eye having a good amount of color already, we don't want to compete, but I still want my cheeks to be like warm and cheerful. And I always go all the way around because I think the good blend of color throughout your entire face is what makes it look cohesive. And of course, I'm sitting here in a cashmere sweater in front of three lights, and I'm starting to sweat my balls off. You heard me. Okay, and this little corally shade right here, I'm just going to do the littlest dot of color, beep, 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 on the apples of my cheeks, just like that. That's all. And of course, I'm going to highlight with my... Um, Charlotte Tilbury palette that I've become super in love with. High points of the cheekbones, bring it around. Blend, 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 because I don't want it to be a stripe. I want it to look like I'm a glowing goddess and this is just how my skin is. Mm. forget the bridge of the nose or in between my eyes. You know I love that. I just think there's something so pretty about that. And on my cupid's bow. You didn't think I was going to skip my inner corner highlight, did you? Of course not. I'm going to go back in with my Natasha Denona on that little brush and just get right in the tear duct area. And even on my most minimal makeup days, I always do the inner corner highlight. I think it just makes such a difference. It's such a brightening effect. Hmm. And as always, the finishing powder, just to bring everything together and make it all creamy and cohesive. And then back in with the blush just to keep those cheeks awake. So I've been back and forth on what to do about a lip color. I have this pretty Dior, they call it a coal because it is 
it is very matte and it dries and it feels almost like a powdery finish. And I like that because I think the shade is nice and it's kind of orangey without being too bright. But I also have this NARS, which is like a tried and true. And it has a little, I don't know. Which one do you think? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the brighter Dior. I'm just, I'm just kind of feeling a little brighter today. I have this somewhat nudish to kind of brown Dior, not Dior, Natasha Denona lip pencil. That's what I'm gonna use to line. Let's see here. Nice basic liner. And now in with this pretty Dior. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. You know what, I love this and I don't use it that often. I used it a lot when I first got it and I haven't so much lately. And I think I'm gonna get some more of these. I really like the finish, I like the way it feels. I love the color payoff. What do you think? All right, so right now I'm a hot sparkly mess. Let me clean up. Well, for anyone who knows me, this is a totally like classic go-to look that I do a lot. I feel really comfortable in it. I feel like for, you know, my skin tones, my eye color especially, that these shades are great for it. Oranges work really well with blue eyes because it makes the blue pop. What do you think? Is my blue popping? And I mean, I put a bunch of shimmer on my eyes, but I don't think I'm looking crazy. I just feel like I'm, you know, a little bright. That's all. All I want to do, how many times do I have to tell you? I just want to sparkle and shine. So what do you think of my first fall face week look? Do you like it? Do you think you would try it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'll list all the products below. You should be able to find most of them except for, well, my Amazonian clay wheel. That's probably not available anymore. Sorry about that. But I will put the color down below in case you do like it. Um, additionally, on Wednesday, I'll be doing kind of a more smoky fall look. So tune in for that. And as always, I want to thank you for being here with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. I upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12.15. Thank you so much for being with me. Mwah.